Good morning. Uh, my name is Peter Ferrens. I'm a retired large animal vet. And um, this is my son, Timothy Ferrens, who's also, he's a practicing vet, but he does small animals. And today we're, I'm talking to you about growing um, show carrots. We all know that if you grow carrots in the ground, they often split, or if they're very big, you can't get them out of the ground. So the other way of doing it is to grow carrots above ground in containers. And so I thought really is just to show that, bring, lift that one, this is an old land drain, you can put it up that way probably, um, just something that's impervious. Or you could possibly use an old uh, dustbin, which a hole, make, make sure there's a hole in the bottom, this one hasn't, but if you make sure you can get drainage. And I'm actually going to just show you today, it's a practical demonstration of what I do. I, uh, this is a bit of old, I think it's a bit of foul drain actually, that somebody had, and I'd cut it up into bits. It doesn't have to be as long as that, but that means you might get a carrot that is, you know, two foot, two foot six long and get it out relatively easily so that it's presented for show properly. So now what we, we do is in the garden you'd put this in a, in a sort of small trench so it holds itself. Here I've got my assistant hopefully will hold it so it doesn't fall over but it, you stick it into a hole in the ground so that the, it, it holds itself up and then we'll put in first of all sand. So bring the sand up but before we we'll put a bit of sand in first just, just in the bottom I've got to get you, you, t you know, where's the other? There's another container somewhere. Is there a small container? Yeah, in there. Okay, that's it. You keep filling that one up. Just, this is only just a bit, right? That goes in there. Just hold on a sec. And then we put in some sort. Of, it could be a pipe or a, a broom handle. This is an axe handle um, that uh, in there. So now we can put the sand around this. Just keep feeding it in. There we are, that's why I need the assistant, it helps a bit. And the only hard work in growing show carrots really is the preparation you do in March. And this is it really, I mean you're talking about if you've got, well, let's say you've got a class of four show carrots, you'd probably want to grow eight or twelve carrots in a tube or in a, a dustbin so that you'd have a few spares because they don't all turn out perfectly. Once it's getting near the top. Come on, you've just got to keep tipping. There we go, a bit more. Right, we'll soon be there. The other thing is that if the sand is not that damp, after we've got the whole thing filled up, nearly there. You need to pour a bit of water down this so that when you pull your bit of wood out, a bit more, it's nearly at the top, because this eventually will sink anyway, because the sand will always drop to the bottom. One more. Now I just give a, that knocks it down a bit. No, a bit more. There we are. It's, it's about two inches from the top now. That'll do. So, now what we do now is just sort of try and... I've got to get this thing out of here somehow. Yeah, there it comes. And what I do is as I come out sort of near the... T towards the top, I try and actually make the sand stay. I think we need a bit of water, Tim. Just a bit of water from in there, in the jug. Because this sand is a bit too dry and it causes collapsing. Just, just put a bit of jug, that's it. Forgot about the water. So we put that loop, only a little bit. So we put a bit of water down here. The idea is that it keeps the sand in the right place. And a loop, thank you. Should do. Should just leak down slowly but surely. Not leaking down, there they are. Now as I come out near the top, I'm trying to make it a bit broader at the top. So that I've got a, the right shape for the carrot when it's later growing. 
Well, there's a hole down the middle anyway. Now, yeah, that's fallen in a bit at the other end. But that's the theory of it is that if you get it wet enough, the, um, you'll get a, a shape like this all the way down and you have compost because that's what we're now going to put in here. It doesn't have to be any old compost. Put it in the middle. And when I've done that, you often find it doesn't go down, so you just shove it down with your a stick, just to take any air bits out. Yeah, some of it's fallen in. But you can see the idea is that you get... Right, that's in there. Right, that's gone in there and a bit more. Now this, you, you should end up with your compost at about, about here. And then once you've got to this stage, now that's the difficult bit done, you now put your carrot seeds on the top. Actually probably the best thing to do first is to wet it again, I won't do this now, but wet it again so this, the compost is moist. Then you sprinkle not a lot of seed, three or four, quite carefully drop them in the middle. So that you're then going to put a bit more compost on the top, allow it to germinate. This is what I say in March, it's probably the right time of year, it doesn't matter if you do it in April if you wanted to, but um, March is about as early as you'd want to do it. So that when the carrots um, germinate, you can pull out the weak ones and eventually end up with one. If you're doing it in a big trough like this, you'd actually you know, if you've got a, a lot of seed on top of there and you've got sort of 20 or so carrots you need, you'd pull out some of the weaker plants, allowing the stronger ones more space so they'll grow bigger anyway. So it might be easier, rather than doing it the hard way like this in troughs, you could do it in that. The trouble is you've still got to get the carrots out of that later in the season. They should come out because to get the carrot out of here, we'd actually take some of the sand out of the top to be able to get hold of the carrot it's not that much space to get hold of it, so if, if that doesn't work, then you have to be very careful, lift it up and knock the bottom very carefully so that the sand then falls out of the bottom. And if you do it too violently, the taproot, which is the very fine little bit, which is all counts in the show carrot, uh, will fall off. So you just have to be a bit careful. You can either try and pull it straight up or you can knock the bottom out just carefully and, and hopefully you'll get a carrot two foot six. And then there's one other thing you have to remember with the carrot for show, is that when you're going to wash it, don't wash it up and down, you always wash around. So you don't get marks, They're all, it's all about presentation. And so you've got a long carrot, you can spoil it by washing it roughly like that. You do try and wash it round. Now there's one other thing which carrots get, and they say that a carrot fly flies at about six inches off the ground. Um, I don't know whether it's true or not. I think they go everywhere. Uh, and if you want to keep a carrot fly off it, the carrot fly puts sort of a vein around the outside of your, your super carrot, and there it is all veined, and it spoils it. You have to put a, a screen over the top. I use EnviroMesh to uh, cover. I put s some poles like this that stand up like that around my a dozen what to call them, and then I lay it over the top and tie a bit of string around the bottom, and that does a fairly good job at keeping out the carrot fly. So then you've got, hopefully, beautiful carrots, nice and long, and no carrot fly damage. And then good luck to you. Hope you win in your, in your uh, local show. It's a bit of hard work in, in March, is the, the thing to do for your long carrots. OK, thank you very much indeed. What we'll do is just do that, Tim. That'll save that one. Just stick that. Oh, any questions? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, didn't, I forgot about that. Yes, you do. The, the compost that you have only has about six weeks of um, fertiliser in it. So probably after about six or eight weeks, you'd use something like tomorite when you water. And that's the other thing is that I did fail to mention, is in the summer, uh, when it's really dry, you do have to put water, and then about once a week, once a fortnight, put your tomorite in. Uh, but watering when it's really dry is quite important. So you might have to do it even once a day when it's really dry. Yeah, that's the sort of thing. You don't need to be, the carrots and root crops don't like too much richness. Yeah. So uh, the other thing is you could always go on from this. If you wanted to grow long parsnips, I grow parsnips in tubes about that big off the ground. It's exactly the same, it's just slightly bigger tubes or bigger, bigger pots. 
So to, uh, to do it. So it's uh, root crops of this sort of thing, long root crops can grow in tubes above ground so you can get them out and then be, present them there. You can see these four foot six parsnips and the two foot six carrots. Great, you're a winner with luck. Thank you very much. No, well, the, usually in your show guide, there's a, a, it says you've probably got to put three inch tops. The idea of that is that if you go to the supermarket, they chop the tops right off. So you can't just go to the supermarket and buy the biggest carrot and put it in the show, which has been heard of. Um, but uh, no, really, you have to leave three inch tops so that it shows that you've actually grown it yourself. So you don't need all the greenery? You don't need all the, all the greenery, no. I mean, the, it, it's usually in your show schedule. Yeah. Any more questions? Well, thank you very much indeed.